Boxing is one of the greatest sports of all time and it is beneficial for many reasons. Some of the reasons are that you can protect yourself and get in good shape at the same time. It also improves your health and cardio. But most people who start boxing make a lot of mistakes like dropping their guard and many other things. In this video, I will explain the most common mistakes which are made in boxing and how to avoid making those mistakes. Few of these mistakes are very important and if you make them, you can lose a fight. So the most common mistake number one made by most people in boxing is dropping their hands hands. The reason why this is the first one is because every new boxer should get used to getting on guard fast and protecting themselves during a sparring session or a fight. Most new fighters completely drop their guard after throwing a combination like jab cross hook and they're left completely open once they are done throwing the combination. Another common mistake similar to that is dropping their guard while they are getting hit by punches out of fear and they mess up the whole situation. It is very important to stay on guard if you are getting rocked. Yes, it is true that keeping your guard up is hard when someone is throwing punches punches like Mike Tyson on you, but you have to get the right chance to strike or back down. Let's talk about the next mistake most people make in boxing. The next most common mistake people make in boxing is not using the power of their legs to increase their punching power. This happens a lot of time, especially for beginners. Most coaches usually train people on how to pivot or use your legs properly for a punch, but they stop doing it after a while. It is quite simple. You have to pivot your foot for almost every type of punch except a jab. If you are in a fight, you might not need it all the time, but if you are training, it is important. For example, pivoting your back foot while throwing a cross will help you generate more power. Let's talk about the next most common mistake made boxers. The mistake is not training defense. This is one of the most common mistakes in boxing. I am telling you that if you train defense often, you are probably better than 70% of boxers around your boxing gym. Everyone for some reason likes to flex on the heavy bag, but they don't train the basics of defense. I will break defense down into three simple things. The first one is head movement, the second one is staying calm, and the third one is footwork and body movement. Head movement is the most crucial one because, on average, most people aim for the head in boxing. You have to coordinate your whole body with the head movement and your footwork at the same time. When you combine them all and stay calm and analyze the situation instead of getting nervous, you have a far higher chance of winning the fight. To master head movement, you can use a slip line. You can make it with your boxing wraps or buy a slip bag. There are many other drills which I have covered in a video. I have a whole guide in which I cover that. You can check it out on my channel. Body movement requires experience and you can build it through sparring. And for footwork, you can do drills like ladder and cone drills. You can also build good footwork by doing partner drills in your boxing gym. You should try around different styles like going in and out quickly with the help of your fast footwork. I mean, footwork is far easier to master compared to head movement. Head movement takes time because you can make a lot of mistakes because you can't really predict or dodge every single punch thrown at you. Once you train about a year, you should be fairly good at most things. And if you hit like two years of boxing, you should be good enough to compete in higher levels. Let's talk about the next mistake people make while boxing. This is very common for people who are sparring or competing. The mistake is not charging in when your opponent is tired or scared. This mistake can cause you to lose many fights if your goal is to be a champion. A lot of boxing fights end by a technical knockout, and especially when you are competing in amateur fights. In my opinion, in any amateur fight, you should be aggressive because the fight ends very quickly. In professional fights, the situation is different. Fighters have enough time to plan and strike, but if they get the chance, they go aggressive too. Make sure to follow the rules like not hitting someone on the back of their head or something, or it can get you disqualified or cause a bad injury to your opponent. If your opponent seems off or backing down and looks tired, just go all in if you can. In any form of combat, you should try your best to gain every advantage. Another common mistake made by new fighters is not focusing on punching form and technique. This happens with most people and is normal. Usually they don't extend their arms completely while punching or their punches are not powerful or not stable. To fix this mistake, all you need to do is get in a proper boxing stance, extend your arms fully while throwing a punch. While you are punching, you should also pivot your foot to generate more power. You will eventually get good at your punching form once you have like two or three months of training. Let me just quickly cover how to throw different types of punches. Let's talk about a hook. Everyone Everyone good in boxing needs to master this punch. In my opinion, it is more effective than the uppercut in most fights. To throw a lead hook, you need to pivot your lead foot and punch sideways. Just watch this guy in the video right here. Your form will be bad at the start, but you have to keep practicing it. Practice basic combinations like jab, cross, hook, and uppercut. That is an easy combination, especially for beginners. Alright, let's talk about the uppercut. It looks like one of the coldest punches. To master it, you need to make a U-shaped form with your punch. It is hard to explain, but you guys probably know what I am talking about. I already said you guys how to throw a cross. So let's move on to the jab. It is quite easy, but there are levels to it, for example. Almost anyone in the world, including untrained fighters, 
can throw a jab, but most of them cannot throw a body jab or throw a jab with perfection in a fight. The point of a jab is to either distance yourself from an opponent and buy you some time to recover or to set up a punch. If you utilize it well, like Floyd Mayweather, you can be on a whole other level. Let's talk about the next mistake people make while boxing. It is not listening or watching to boxers who are more experienced than them while training. Yeah, it is true that everyone fights in a different way, but listening to the people around you can be very helpful. A lot of new guys think they are the next prodigy and don't listen to their coach or someone more experienced than them. Sometimes people can notice the mistakes which you don't pay attention to. For example, you could not be extending your arms while punching and not notice it till someone points it out. I'm not saying that you should listen to everyone. Just make sure to confirm whether you are really making a mistake or not. And you should always spend some time of your day watching some professional fights in boxing routes. It can show you how advanced boxing can really get. It is easy to learn boxing and get good at boxing, but it is very hard to master and perfect all of your moves in boxing. Just watch some fights you enjoy. It could be short clips of them or analysis videos if you don't want to spend a lot of time. I always recommend watching some professional fights and choosing what boxer you like to watch and then you could watch their fight on live TV once every few months. You don't have to watch many unnecessary fights. Just watch the ones you find interesting. All right, let's talk about the next most common mistake made in boxing. The next mistake is skipping your warm-up. The reason why this is a big mistake is because one injury can set back a few months. I will tell you the best warm-up and keep it quick. All you need to do is a five-minute jog or jump rope and stretch your body and shoulders and then start shadow boxing for a few minutes or hit the heavy bag lightly. You don't have to overdo it like those cringe TikTok videos. Keep it simple and you're good to go. The point of warm-up is to prevent injuries and make sure you are smooth in the ring. Let's move on to the next most common mistake in boxing and how you can fix it. It is to correct your boxing stance. Correcting your boxing stance is quite easy to be honest, but most beginners make small mistakes like crossing their legs while moving around the ring which can maybe cause them to trip. I will simplify it quickly. All you need is a tape or a stick or some random straight and thin object which you can put on the floor and you have to put your lead foot on one side and your back foot on another side. Make sure that your legs are touching the object or the tape. Then lower your legs a bit and make sure that you are comfortable. Once you have got that right, you can start moving front and back. Move Moving left and right is very simple, you can learn it. You can start learning how to move on, step ahead, and then pivot. You just need to do it for like two or three days to get better, and then you can practice it by yourself without needing anything. And then, to get your footwork faster, just try out different drills. Boxing is like the easiest sport to learn, but hard to master. Let's talk about another common mistake which is made in boxing. is not training your core, skipping your road work. This is a mistake made by many people, because these are the boring parts about boxing. Roadwork feels boring for many people, especially in summer if you live in a hot place. You could go run early in the morning or at night. You can get one of your homies with you or put on some music. And for training abs, you can do that at home. Do some crunches and leg raises. It is simple. Remember, training your core can improve punching power and you will be more durable. And it can also make you look good in the ring. These are easy stuff. Even if you add all the things up from the video, it won't take you a long time to correct them. Someone in your gym might point out these mistakes and could help you correct them. Most mistakes fade out when you start to train for longer. The last mistake made by people who are new to boxing. This mistake is for people who are new in boxing. It is copying boxing styles without learning the basics. Once you get good at boxing, which takes about a year, you can experiment with different styles, but you should usually avoid putting your hands down and trying to do a Muhammad Ali shuffle. Yes, Muhammad Ali was one of the greatest boxers and changed boxing completely, but he had many years of training to get good at footwork so he could do those stuff. If you are a new boxer, you should start off with a basic boxing stance and then gradually find your style by sparring many times. Once you gain experience from sparring, you can find your ideal style. Experimenting is good once you are better. Who knows, you might become a master at Philly shells stance or something. If you don't experiment after you get good, you won't find out your full potential. But for most people, mastering the normal style is the best. And at last, make sure to find a good coach and a good boxing gym. Keep staying consistent at training and don't quit when you make mistakes.